How do we as a country know whether or not we have enough foreign currency to pay for our imports? Well, just as your bank can always tell you your balance and keeps a record of all your transactions, the South African Reserve Bank keeps a record of South Africa's imports and exports of goods and services. This record is called the current account in the balance of payments. In this account, the Reserve Bank records all of our merchandise exports, our gold exports, service receipts, that's foreign currency, earned exporting services overseas, and income receipts from investments overseas as positive items or deposits. Our merchandise imports, service imports and income payments are regarded as negative items or withdrawals from the current account. The Reserve Bank also keeps a record of South Africa's international financial transactions as assets or liabilities in the financial account of the balance of payments. In this account, they record net direct investment, financial investment and other types of investment. The South African Balance of Payments, or BOP for short, is a summary of all the transactions between South Africa and the rest of the world. But for now, we're only looking at the current account, the goods and services that South Africa buys and sells on the international market. We have to distinguish between what's called the trade balance and the balance on the current account. Let's first deal with the trade balance. The trade balance is only concerned with physical exports and import. In other words, goods or merchandise. The trade balance is the difference between merchandise exports, including gold, and merchandise imports. If we export more than we import, we have what's called a trade surplus. But if our merchandise exports, including gold, are less than our merchandise imports, we have a trade deficit. The balance on the current account is the net total of the various items. This now includes the trade of services as well as income receipts on top of merchandise. A current account surplus occurs when a country earns more on export of goods and services and income receipts than it spends on these imports. A current account deficit exists when a country spends more on imports than it earns on exports. And this would be reflected as a negative balance on the current account. But how can we trade or at least import anything if we have a negative balance? Wouldn't that mean we've run out of Forex? This can be explained by looking at the financial account side of the balance of payments. People or corporations in other countries can buy shares in South African companies or a factory or other capital intensive businesses in the country. These are both examples of how money, or more accurately, financial investment capital, can flow into South Africa. For example, Mercedes-Benz has a car factory in East London, in the Eastern Cape, the only one outside of Germany. Now, this is a flow of foreign investment into South Africa. On the other hand, South Africans might buy shares in or start businesses in other countries. South African breweries, for instance, has beer factories in China. These types of transaction are recorded in the financial account, which has three main components. Direct investment, which is investment in local enterprises. Portfolio investment, which is the acquisition of local shares or bonds for financial gain. And other investment, things like loans or credit agreements which earn interest. These three items are all shown on a net basis in the financial account. In other words, the outflows deducted from the inflows. If the inflow of all financial capital is less than the outflow, we have a financial account deficit. And obviously, if the inflow of financial capital exceeds the outflow, the nation has a surplus on the financial account. So, getting back to the question of how can we afford to carry on importing goods and services if we have a current account deficit? If there's a surplus on the other account, on the financial account, the nation can borrow from this account and carry on importing more than it exports, for a while anyway. Of course, we can only borrow from the one account if it has a positive balance. A problem will arise if there's a net outflow of funds. 
This can happen if overseas investors sell their South African shares or shut down their local businesses. So it's risky to have a very large trade deficit. We never know when there'll be an unexpected